Okay. Um, so the last thing I wanted to show was, um, let me zoom out here, how I went about doing some of these interesting little leader lines, some of the, the symbols and chamfers, etc. Um, so I'm going to do those, and that's pretty much the end of the drawing. So let me go ahead and zoom up here, and I'm going to create a text with leader. So you can kind of see this A with a leader. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that guy. And I might pick this, um, let's just do maybe, I'll do this guy. And again, I want to make sure I'm zoomed up enough that I'm making sure I'm grabbing the right edge. So I'm going to grab that edge there and just maybe place the text over here. And I'm going to say um, 0 0.02 by 45. Now I want to put a degrees symbol. So I'm just going to click on symbols, degrees. Now I also want to say chamfer on a separate line. So I'm going to say shift enter and now I can say chamfer. Now I like to have the text capital so I'm going to hit my caps locks and say chamfer and close that guy out and I now have this text. And I can move this around you can kind of see how the leader kind of moves with it. So let's just go ahead, I'll just place it there for example. Well, I also want to point to a chamfer down here and a chamfer up here. So I'm going to use the exact same command. So I'll select that edge and you can see how it's creating this leader for me. And then all I have to do is get near this tail. And I'm just going to go ahead and click. Now it's asking for text. Well, I'm not going to type anything in. I just wanted the leader. So I'll do the same thing here. I'll click there, kind of move up and close. And now I have this text basically pointing to three separate edges.